Oh, this gets me every time. I don't understand this whole prancing Doberman thing, but it's wonderful. <laughs> We are Steve and Adria, and Alexi is our Doberman pup. In 2019, we started slowly converting our DIY camper van on the weekends at our home base in Las Vegas. But the pandemic quickly changed our plans with Steve getting laid off. The silver lining? More time for the van build, location freedom to start van life even before our van was finished, and teaming up with a metal worker buddy in Oregon to design a roof rack for our ProMaster and start a business crafting adventure van accessories. And that's where our story picks up. It's a special day today because it's, it's both- It's my birthday. <laughs> yes. It's my birthday. It's Steve's birthday. <laughs> it's both his birthday and it is the day that we, cross fingers, <laughs> pick up the final parts for- No, we, we will pick them up for sure. That's not a question in doubt. It's true. They're gonna be ready. It's, it's they need to fit well. It's the yes. final fitment, we hope. The final fitting for the roof rack prototype. For the roof rack. Yeah. Yeah. And that means that this morning is going to be a little bit of business and a little bit of fun, starting with breakfast. So the special part about breakfast is we don't have to make it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've been making breakfast. I don't know. We make breakfast at home almost every morning as well. But it's but, so much easier at yeah, home but, because everything is laid out, you just grab things, you do it. Here we have to like get all the stuff out and yeah, the set, camp stove yeah. and get everything like, yeah, it's just a bit of a pain. So for my birthday, I didn't want to mess with any of that. I just wanted to have breakfast somewhere. So <laughs> that's what we're doing. No? So unfortunately, we didn't get all the pieces that we needed. There was some miscommunication between us and the place that's forming them, and one small piece got left out, which is kind of crucial to putting on the, uh, the front brace. So it's a bit of a letdown, especially on my birthday. But, again, what do you do? You gotta roll with it. So, we're just gonna keep on moving forward as best we can. What does that do for our timeline, Steve? Uh, good question, because we still don't know when that other little piece is gonna get done, and we kinda, we need it all finished, that way we can get send it off to powder coating, because powder coating's gonna be a couple days, and it's Monday already, so, I don't know, we wanna leave next week to make our timeline, but I, is that gonna happen? I, to be seen. So we may not have gotten all the parts that we need to completely get it finished, but we can at least test. Uh, we did get this remade, this piece here, and the rear one, and that's what we're trying to get this angle correct. So I can at least test fit those. And when the other parts get in, we can send those off to get powder coated along with the side ladder project that we're working on. working in the metal shop <laughs> and vans pulled in disassembling the roof projects are going on and I'm getting a little work done in the dark <laughs> from bed um, but it works
Good afternoon. The rack is completely disassembled and awaiting powder coating tomorrow. And we are heading out for my birthday dinner. Birthday dinner. We found, uh, it was actually really hard to find a place to go out to, uh, to dinner for whatever reason uh, in this area up here. Everything seems to be closed like Monday, Tuesday, and only open Wednesday through sad or Sunday. So yeah. it took a lot of research <laughs> to find this place, but we're really excited. It looked like it had really good food. And we are foodies, and so it's kind of fun to be able to exercise that side of ourselves, especially when we've been kind of living out of a partly finished van, <laughs> like yeah, roughing it for so long. We really haven't done, you know, <laughs> dinners out either with uh, with yeah. COVID, so it's it'll be a really nice change of pace to to be able to. They have a nice patio, so we'll be outside and it'll be fresh air, and yeah, I'm excited, really yeah. excited. And you know what I realized yesterday is that this is the one year anniversary of the very first trip we took with the van, the test drive that we did when in we went- a completely empty, empty van. In a very empty van. We didn't live in it or anything. Um, we went to San Diego for a van life meetup a year ago for the weekend. And yeah, this is not where I imagined we would be a year no, later. <laughs> I, for one, we thought we'd have a finished van by now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oops, surprise, and, not done. And then, and then on a second note, we thought that we would only be doing van life on the weekends. That we would yeah, be like true. weekend warriors, right? And we would like, be able to leave Friday afternoon and come back Saturday night. Or Friday, Sunday night, if that makes more sense. <laughs> and here we are going in. I don't know, is, are we going into our third week in the van so, straight? Third, yeah, in probably. the last couple of months, we've spent more time in the van than we have at home. At home, at, yeah. I mean, they're both home, I guess, sure. but sure. in our condo. Our physical um, address, PO box address, yeah. actual address. And, and we're looking at a couple more weeks in the van before we go home, and then probably staying two days at home and then getting back in the van, so yeah. <laughs> Not what we'd imagined, but sometimes things surprise you and are better in different ways. Daisies blooming Sundress swaying in the breeze I can't stop staring You've put a spell on me And I hope that you never decide to set me free The way you're moving Got me moving my own feet the Greatest feeling That I could ever dare to dream Is you I want to show you guys a little sneak preview of what the rack's actually going to look like in its final color. Uh, we have a computer rendering. No. black on the aluminum. Yes, it's cool. Just wanted to give everyone a peek of what the rack looks like broken down before we head off to the powder coaters this morning. So we kind of did a little fine prepping on all the edges to kind of smooth them out so the powder coating sticks real well. And yeah, this is what the entire rack looks like, minus the crossbars. But yeah, it, the whole point of the rack was to be able to ship it. And it works quite nicely when it breaks down to the little parts like this. So we are gonna get these loaded up and get them out to the powder coating place. I love how here when we go to places to drop off uh, the rack to get powder coated or to pick up parts that are getting uh, created or whatever it is 
that we're driving through farmland and nature <laughs> back in Las Vegas if we were driving to go do something like this we'd probably be driving through traffic and asphalt and um, this feels a lot better Your destination is on the left And do you have somewhat of an EPA for So we got the parts all dropped off. We're shooting for Friday. They weren't 100% sure they could get it done Friday. They're pretty busy right now. And that just seems to be the theme of everything, you know? The things just take time. So we're crossing our fingers again, hoping that it gets powder coated in time for when we're wanting it. One of the things I really love about Oregon, or I'm finding out that I really love about Oregon, is there's so many like little shops up here that you can support like actual local farmers that are growing your produce and and your beef and uh, it's just it's really nice to have really fresh things and easily accessible. And and connections to the land yeah. and directly to the supply chain. Yeah, directly to the people producing them it's really it's nice to have that that little touch I guess. <laughs> oh this gets me every time I don't understand this whole prancing Doberman thing but it's wonderful <laughs> uh, so we're in a bit of a holding pattern right now and it's just kind of a waiting game we really didn't plan on being up in McMinnville for for this long, we weren't even sure we were coming up here originally, so... We really thought that we would be up here maybe like two weeks tops, maybe even just go for the weekend in Tahoe when we originally left. We didn't know whether we were coming here or not. And now probably by the time we go home, it'll be... It'll be almost a, a month. month. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't really bring any other projects to work on the van, like so that, anything with us. Which, so. like, which is all this time that, yeah, we could be building the van. I'm sure you noticed our van is, you know, not, not very <laughs> finished and we're living in it. But yeah, so we're just kind of noticing that we have a little space right now. Join us next time as our holding pattern lifts and we hustle to complete the finishing touches on the roof rack before our deadline. Subscribe and stay tuned for our reactions to seeing our completed roof rack design for the very first time. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up to show us. See you soon.